Damn, poor girl. That is definitely a traumatic piercing story. <laughs> And welcome back to my channel. Today I have found a TikTok story that spreads across a bunch of different TikTok videos and it's a girl telling her story about how she ended up in hospital because of a cartilage piercing. And let me tell you, it's wild. I think you guys can definitely learn something from it but also I think you'll find it very interesting because a lot of people don't realize that piercings can do this to you. She just said, help, my cartilage is so swollen I think my ear might fall off. I guess she doesn't know what she's in for just yet. Yeah, that swell is real. Now it's nothing too crazy at the moment, like some people's ears do just swell. Update. It's getting worse. It is. It's actually all swollen here too. Wow. I mean... I think my ear is gonna fall off. I'm trying to like keep this hair out the way. You can see here that it's just like gone another mile. It's swollen like the area where the rook piercing would go. Then you know you're facing some issues because like your piercing should never swell up that much that they're like causing that area to swell as well. Like that shouldn't happen. Think I'm cursed seriously. Where am I gonna get a longer earring from? That's the right type of metal when all the shops are closed. Okay, it gets worse. Um. <laughs> I got some antibiotics from the doctor. Then I spent an hour trying to get the earring out so I could clean it. Now the earring is too small because of the swelling. All the shops are closed so I can't get a bigger one. Oh. So I'm just hoping this plaster keeps the earring in. You definitely can buy quality jewelry online. However, in this case, I think she's finding it really hard because she can't even get the jewelry out. So that's one of the main concerns is like getting the jewelry out. That can be terrifying. A lot of people definitely always come in and they're like freaking out because they can tell something's wrong because they've got a piercing somewhere or like I don't know if she's got it done with a gun, but it, that this is the kind of thing that would happen if you got cartilage pierced with a gun. Like this is a very clear example of it, but I guess we'll see what happens. This is a common thing that happens where people have got it pierced with a gun or they've got it pierced somewhere that hasn't done it properly. It's swollen up a lot and they can't get it out and they are freaking out because they want it out. You do not want to keep the jewelry in when it's like this because there's no point like trying to save it. It needs to be redone. Something's very wrong. Okay, here's my next update. I feel like it's gone down a little, but it's still big. I got this hoop today that fits better. Um, that is a 12 millimeter one though and it's still tight. I spent the past two days with plasters all over my ears trying to hold the other earring in place. Oh. And today I've finally been able to wash my hair because obviously the earring would have fallen out so I couldn't do that. Oh um, my god, she's keeping it's it really in. sore so I'm just trying to keep everything away from it and I'm cleaning up saline and things. And then hopefully the antibiotics start working Take out. Take it out. And all that swelling goes because it's no. so big. No. It's my other ear. No. Take it out. I mean, I was used to think I had big ears, but now I don't think I do. So this is how I'm gonna spend the rest of the day with this clip in my hair. <laughs> if something else happens, I'll keep you updated. But for now, hopefully it gets better. I'm not happy with this. You shouldn't take a piercing out if it's infected. You've got to get rid of the infection before you take it out. So she's done the right thing by getting the antibiotics because that's what you need to do to get rid of if there is an infection. But it's potentially not that it's an infection, but that it is the cartilage has shattered. That's kind of what it seems like has happened to me because this is what this is literally what your ear does when your cartilage shatters generally from a gun piercing to the cartilage. She's keeping the jewelry in because she obviously wants to save the piercing, but it's not worth it. No, like no matter what you spent on it, it's not worth keeping this in. Your body isn't okay with it. Your body isn't coping with it. It does not want it. This is a clear sign of that. Take the jewelry out. Like, what are you doing? You could do. It's out. Good. Mm, it's got this massive bump on it now. Wow. Um, I'm so upset. I really like my piercing, but um, this is not okay. No. I try and see a doctor again. At least now we've moved to the next step where she's taken it out because yeah, it's not okay. And you can see how much that has just like puffed up even further. At this point, it's like becoming deformed because of that piercing and nothing is worth doing that. Piercing's going terribly wrong. 
So she's at the hospital now. Damn. God, this is where it's like, it's become an emergency and they've needed to go to the hospital. This is something you just don't really see. Even as a piercer, you don't see stuff get this bad. I've seen people coming in where, you know, something like this is starting to happen or they have got a gun piercing and you give them the advice that you can, but also to see a doctor and generally the doctor can sort it out from there. Generally, the thing that we have to do is take the jewelry out for them. Doctors aren't very good at taking jewelry out. They don't know how to do it. Basically, I called the doctors, they gave me antibiotics, they didn't work. I had another video call with the doctors, they gave me the same antibiotics for another five days, but they weren't doing anything. So I had to go yesterday because there was that massive bump. Mm. And then he tried to drain it and then sent me up to the hospital. Wow. Um, and then they drained it and then that's why it got this bad. But um, I tried my best, so I don't think there's anything else I could have done. Mm. I mean, the only thing you could have done is gotten rid of the jewelry, like, immediately. You do find people want to keep the jewelry in. And, like, I understand it. You don't want to get rid of the piercing, but, like, if you feel like something is wrong, trust your instincts because generally something is wrong. And, like, if you're in that much pain, if there's that much swelling happening, you really need to, like, act on it. Don't just leave it. People just think you get bumps that comes with getting piercings and getting college piercings, but, like, it should never like swell to that point and piercings will swell a little bit but they won't swell this much like that's no 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 also i couldn't find the video with the phone call so she must have deleted that one i will not be getting it done again um i've been looking at the cuffs and like magnetic earrings instead because i just this this no no this is too much yeah, it literally would scare you forever to ever want to get a piercing again. If it was done properly with the correct jewellery, this wouldn't have happened, but it wouldn't be worth it. Like, I wouldn't want to do it either. Here's my ear piercing story. So I got my ear pierced on Halloween. Um, there it is. I really liked it. Um, and like two weeks after I got it done, I knocked it and it fell out. Um, so I put it back in. Next picture. So after I put it back in, it started to swell like this. Um... Just a little bit, like, yeah, that doesn't look like that bad now. <laughs> then it got bigger, um, and bigger to the point that the earring actually didn't fit through the hole anymore, so I had to, like, s put plaster over it to keep it in. So then I got a hoop for it so that it would fit and it wouldn't be too tight on my ear. Um, um, but it was just gradually getting bigger. You can see there that the little abscess is starting to form. Then the abscess got bigger. Oh then God. I took the earring out and cried. Isn't he crying? And one more because I'm mentally stable. Peace. So this was at the night I took the piercing out. And then the morning after it was a lot worse. So I went to the hospital and ended up with this on my head. Here's my ear. Damn, poor girl. That is definitely a traumatic piercing story. I'm putting this on because I'm sick of looking at the big bandage on my head. So, um. Aww. Yeah. So in the surgery, they basically cut into my ear. You know, this bit of the ear around and then had to squeeze out all the like blood and pus and things that were in there. Um, so they did that on Friday. Then they put the big bandage on my head, which has to be tight because uh, the compression helps the abscess not to reform or something. So they did that and I came back Monday and it had started to um, reform a little bit again. So they told me to come back today. So I came back today and it had reformed a little but not as much as it had on Monday. So they put the bandage back on again um and told me to come back friday so i did ask and they said maybe on friday if it's better again they'll be able to take the bandage off um so hopefully because i'm getting so frustrated with it on my head mm. i also really want to wash my hair or oh. my forehead oh. pray for me brutal so a few of you have been asking me to do a follow-up on my ear piercing so here it is now um it's so much better there's still a little bit of swelling around here but um, it's come down loads. Every day it's coming down. The cartilage in this side is really weak, so the doctor said that it might fold, but it hasn't yet, so I'm hoping it won't. I'm looking for some alternatives because I really like the way it looked. So I found this little cuff from Claire's and you basically hook it on your ear and like squeeze it in place. I'll put it on. So it looks like this, which I think looks really legit. Like it looks like you've got your ear pissed. Or there's this one that makes it look like you've got two hoops. Or there's these little hooks that make it look like you've got a stud. I think I'll just stick to that sort of thing because mm. I don't think I could go through getting it pierced again just in case this happened to me again. 
So hopefully that's my little dilemma over. Um, here's my other ear so that you can compare. Just be really careful if you get your cartilage pierced. Mm -hmm. um, don't get it done at Claire's with a gun like I did. That was stupid. <gasps> it wasn't nice, but I made it through. <laughs> oh, so we discover what happened. It was a gun all along. I knew it. I literally like hadn't watched through all these videos. I'd like watch little snippets of them just to see if the story was like worth looking into. But I didn't know it was a gun, but I guessed it was a gun and I knew it would have been a gun. There's just so much wrong with this. It actually happens a lot more than you would think that people go to get their cartilage pierced at a gun piercing store. This is the perfect example the absolute perfect example of what can happen. This is the reaction that your body has to the shattering of the cartilage. That's also why they would have said that that part of her ear was weak and could fold over because the cartilage is basically destroyed in that area and your body sort of has this reaction to go like, whoa, it's like trying to heal itself. When it's done with a gun, especially on cartilage, it's been done in a way that's so traumatic to the body part that it needs medical attention. And that is exactly what has happened here with her piercing is it needs the medical attention because things have gone so very wrong. Just as a general rule, don't ever go anywhere that does gun piercings because this type of thing can happen, especially, especially, especially do not allow someone to come near your cartilage with a gun because you will end up in hospital. Like it's, it's bad, bad news. Please steer far away from anywhere that is willing to pierce you in your college with a gun. It is really wrong and it is really dangerous. Also, I'm thinking of doing a Q&A really soon. So if you guys have any questions you'd like me to answer, please write them in the comments down below and I will respond to them very soon in a video. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please give me a like down below and subscribe to my channel if you are new here and I'll see you very soon.